All right, hey guys, how's it going? We are coming back here to Gokasho Bay, hole four. So I have yet to put out a hole for this. So glad that we can get it and I'll do the best that I can here for you guys to put together a quality guide. Um, the way that I like to do this, you can see, you know, I'm gonna basically top spin it, not really go into too much power. Um, I might go into a little here um, you know, I am going to play the rings, so, you know, about one per ring, maybe, you know, three, four rings. I am going to go into power. I am going to curl it kind of like this. Um, and, you know, the curl is just because the fairway is very sloped. And keeping it over towards the left um, is going to be, you can see what the fairway is doing, how it's just veering off to the right. So you're going to want to try to counter that a little bit and try to keep it as left as possible. Especially if you're going with a marlin ball like me or navigator for instance. You know I'm going to try to stick with you know somewhere in that range. But when we get to a short par 4 like this you know I'm going to try to ball down a little bit. Try to conserve my inventory. Um, you know it's very easy to use marlin balls and, and especially win loss you know even if you lose you, you didn't give up that much. You, you just get a loss. That's it. You lose a couple coins. Um, but if you follow my technique and my guides, you know, I feel like I'm setting you guys up to win more than 50% of your matches anyway. So as long as you're winning more than 50%, you're always going to have a higher coin balance than you have negative balance. So here you can see, especially with uh, Marlin, um, and laying up, we're going to need to do a hop shot here. And the way that I usually do this, um, you know, I think it usually has a little bit of backspin. I'm going to kind of be sparing with it because it is a little into the wind. So I do think that is going to be a contributing factor to make my ball check up a little bit. So I'm not going to go full there. Um, I am going to go kind of close towards max adjustment, maybe six five and a half six rings somewhere like that uh, another great ball cheese but you know this hole itself is going to be very challenging to get online oh wow huh? I lucked into one got a great ball and I was able to get the eagle there so you can see you know um, not using a lot of backspin there um, is going to be the ticket um, you know the fairway is very hilly uh, there's no way you can ensure that you're going to get this at a high success rate. It's going to be very hard to get, um, you know, perfect ball, great ball, whatever. Uh, you know, it's just going to very much hit how it wants to hit. And, uh, I mean, you can see the mounds on the fairway. It's very hilly. Um, it's not a very flat surface at all. So you can't anticipate even being a half a ring off of a target and actually getting a um, consistent run out. So you do need to be very precise. Um, and you know, more so than anything, you know, it's basically better to be lucky than good when you actually get this one. So there you have it. I was able to sneak this one out this one time. Um, you know, at the very least, at least you can model my technique a little bit. And, uh, you know, keep it out of the rough, keep it out of the bunker um, on the tee shot. And I think you're going to have real good success there. And, you know, just it's all about getting to the shootout. If, in fact, you don't make that eagle, just get to the shootout. And, uh, you know, take a look at my shootout guide. I think I have, like, in addition to these individual holes where I have probably 10, 15 shootouts for you guys, in addition to that, I, I, I think I have about 40 different wins if you actually go to my shootout playlist. So good luck there and see you guys on the next one.